In scientific terms, autophagy is a catabolic process where cells degrade and recycle their own components. Specialized structures called autophagosomes form around damaged proteins or worn-out organelles, then fuse with lysosomes, the cell's recycling centers, to break them down into raw materials. These building blocks, amino acids, fatty acids, nucleotides, are reused to make fresh cellular parts or fuel energy production. Think of it like dismantling an old couch to reuse the wood for a new table. Nothing goes to waste. Why does it matter? Autophagy is not just cellular housekeeping. It's survival strategy. When nutrients are scarce, cells activate autophagy to generate energy from their own reserves. This is why fasting, calorie restriction, or even exercise can stimulate the process. But autophagy also plays a role in neuroprotection, clearing protein clumps linked to diseases like Alzheimer's, immunity, digesting invading bacteria and viruses, longevity. In animal studies, enhanced autophagy is associated with longer lifespan. It's like having a repair crew that not only fixes potholes but also prevents traffic jams and keeps the city thriving. Daily life connections, skipping a meal. Ever noticed you feel sharper when you're a little hungry? Mild fasting can trigger autophagy, nudging your brain to recycle and refresh. Exercise. That post-workout glow isn't just endorphins. Muscle contractions stimulate autophagy, helping cells adapt and grow stronger. Sleep. During deep rest, autophagy ramps up, quietly tidying your cellular bedroom. What science actually shows and doesn't. Here's the catch. While autophagy is fascinating, much of the hype online oversimplifies it. Yes, it's linked to longevity and disease prevention in yeast, worms, flies, and mice. But in humans, the evidence is still emerging. We know autophagy is essential for health, but we don't yet have a magic autophagy switch that guarantees longer life. For example, fasting. Studies suggest intermittent fasting can enhance autophagy, but the exact timing, e.g. 16 hours versus 24 hours, is still debated. Supplements. Some compounds, like spermidine or resveratrol, show promise in lab studies, but human trials are limited. Overactivation. Too much autophagy can be harmful, leading to excessive self-digestion. Balance is key. So while it's tempting to think of autophagy as a cellular fountain of youth, the reality is more nuanced. It's a vital process, but not a shortcut to immortality. A playful perspective. If your body were a smartphone, Autophagy would be the background app that clears cache, deletes corrupted files, and reuses memory space. Ignore it and your system slows down. Support it and everything runs smoother. The takeaway autophagy is your body's built-in recycling program. Scientifically elegant, evolutionarily ancient, and practically useful.